Enter. Henry, I need to talk to you. What about, Peter? I think I'm turning into a weird werewolf. Well, the book does say that there's a cure, but it's very rare. Uh, what is it? Fangle juice. Fangle juice? Yes, fangle juice from the rare Fingal Fangle tree. But where are we going to get fangle juice from at this time of night? Uh, it just so happens that I know where we can get some. But it's very expensive. Two pounds. Two pounds? Well, if you want to turn into a weird werewolf. I'll get my money box right away. Juice delicious. Mm. <laughs> oh, there you are, Henry. Money first. Oh, yes. And it only works if you say you believe in weird werewolves. Oh, yes, I do believe in weird werewolves. This tastes like chocolate milk. Well, of course it does. You wouldn't want to drink it if it tasted horrible, would you? Oh, no. Oops. <laughs> hmm, it's a full moon tonight. So? When you know anything, that's when you're most likely to turn into a weird werewolf. I'm so happy I'm not going to turn into a weird werewolf. Hmm. What is it, Henry? Oh, dear. I'm not sure the fangle juice is working. What? What do you mean? Your hair's getting curlier. Oh, no! What are we going to do now? Wait. Ah, here it is. If there is a full moon and the fangle juice hasn't worked, then whatever happens, you must try to stay awake. Whatever you do, don't go to sleep tonight! Oh, no! Peter, what are you doing up at this time of night? I can't sleep. Can I watch TV with you? Oh, it's way past your bedtime, sweetie love. And you've got school tomorrow. But I'm scared. Will you read me a story? All right, sleepyhead. Let's climb the wooden stairs to Bedfordshire. And so Little Red Riding Hood set off through the forest. But she hadn't gone far when she met the big bad wolf. I've changed my mind, Dad. I don't want a bedtime story, thank you very much. Oh, all right then. It's so easy being me. I'm I need you to ask Mr. Soggington a question. Can't you ask him yourself? Oh, no, Henry, I can't. Oh, all right then. What's the question? The question is, what should I wear? What should you wear? He'll know what I mean. <laughs> now, run along, Henry. Ugh, what's that? Stu! Hello, Henry. Got any more messages for me? Uh, yeah. Miss Battleax was asking what she should wear. Miss Battleax was asking what she should wear? Are you sure, lad? Well, that's what she said, sir. Oh. Oh. Overalls. Uh, tell her she should wear overalls. Overalls? Uh, yep. I always wear overalls when I'm tidying up the gym cupboard. Uh, tell her I'll see her there. What did he say, Henry? Who, oh, miss? Sidmouth, uh, I mean, Mr Soggington. Did he say what I should wear? Yes. Overalls. Overalls? Overalls? Well, overalls it is then. <laughs> oh, a miss? Yes, Henry? He said he'd see you there. Where? I don't know. The gym cupboard, I think. The gym cupboard? Oh, the gym cupboard restaurant. Oh, how romantic. I'm not getting a good feeling about this. Not good at all. Henry, did you deliver my message to Mr Soggington? Um, yes, miss. And what did he say? Um, he said 
to meet him at the gym cupboard and that he'd like to try a new restaurant. Oh, and to wear overalls. Overalls? How odd. What was that all about? Not really sure. Old Ombud told me to tell Soggy Sid to meet her after school and now it's got all mixed up with restaurants and gym cupboards and overalls and Miss Battleaxe. All sounds perfectly clear to me. Uh, yes? So, who can tell me what is eight times seven? Henry? Um, eighty-seven. Well, the answer I was looking for was 56, <laughs> but why not 87? That's close enough. Well done, Henry. So easy being me, I'm You still got your Gross Class Zero comic collection? All of them? Including the Super Bumper Smilly Snotfield edition when Sam Snotfield defeated the evil Emperor three times? Oh, yeah, definitely got that one. It's a deal then. One hour only, but you'd better look after it. Oh, I will. Nothing's going to happen to it. Don't you worry. Phew, that's a lot of comics. Awesome. So cool! Remember, Henry, you better look after it. I will! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 Well, hey! Come in, Squadron Leader! Climb to 30,000 feet! Roger that, Control! The sky's the limit! Yeah! Hey! I say! You? you? Boy, no flying in this park. Uh oh, we better take our plane somewhere else. <laughs> Come on, Steve, let's go. <laughs> You, Henry? Yah? No way! You scared? Yah? You're on. Start here, yah? Through the woods. The fountain. Across the buttercup meadow. Finish with a fly through this tree trunk, yah? Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Oh, yah! I knew you'd check it out. No, I'm just worried about your plane. Mine will be fine. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> oh, watch where you're flying, that thing! <laughs> I don't know. We're all wearing appropriate clothing, sir. No, you're not. Yes, we are. We're wearing hats and scarves. Well, I can't see them. This is my hat. My horrid hat. And I'm wearing it. Still can't see it. Listen, Henry. A rule is a rule. And that's a rule. <laughs> but me no buts, Henry. If... There is this. And there is is not, Henry. There is no if. Come on, Henry. Let's just go inside. Good morning, everyone.
Mr. Soggington has requested the use of this assembly to remind everyone of the school rules. <laughs> Over to you, Mr. Soggington. And finally, rule number three, no playing in the playground when the snow is snowing unless and until you are wearing appropriate clothing. And that's my young friends and enemies is, as they say, that. So... <sighs> who can tell me how many rules there are? Yes, Nicola. Three, sir. Nice try, Nicola. But the answer is, in fact, four. But... But me no buts, Nicola. Here we go again. Now, who can tell us what rule number four is? Henry, perhaps you can tell us what rule number four is. Um... Come on, Henry. We're waiting. Rule number four? Rule number four is, there are no rules. Wrong, Henry. Rule number four is, there are three rules. Now then, does anyone need me to run through that again for them? Uh, uh, thank you, Mr Soggington. Now... If you'd all like to move slowly and quietly to Miss Lovely's classroom, lessons will be conducted there today. Did you like my pointy stick, Boudica? Very impressive. Easy being me, I'm Smelly nappy baby. <laughs> you can do the clapperboard. Oh! Mmm, goody! I'll do the best clapperboard ever, Henry. Really, I will. I know you will. Poopy pugs. Andrew, give the worm. I mean, give Peter the clapperboard. <laughs> no buts. The clapperboard, please. <laughs> Why does everyone want to be in my video? <laughs> Here, you can hold the special effect. The song. Take three. Action! <laughs> what do you want, bogey brain? You're making a music video, aren't you? No. Now go away, slug snot. Shut! Are you making a music video? I don't know. See? He said no. He said, I don't know, and that means yes. Well, I said no, and that means no. Ah! I don't believe you, Henry. If you're making a music video, then I want to be in it. I demand to be in it. <laughs> Where were we? The song. Take four. Action! Margaret's here, and she seems a little upset. So what? Don't be horrid, Henry. Henry, why are you playing in the dark? <laughs> yeah, Henry, why are you playing in the dark? Because we didn't want you to see us making a music video. Whoops. Sorry, Henry. I'm going to be in your music video, whether you like it or not, Henry. For heaven's sake! <laughs> Take this! Take mine! Oh, are you making a music video? Trying to! Can I be in it? <laughs> Fluffy Wuffy wants to be in a music video too, don't you, Fluffy Wuffy? I give up! You can all be in my music video! Oh, see who that 
it is, will you, Henry? Can you believe this? It's so easy being me. I'm Margaret, I do appreciate you wanting to join in, but let's see what Henry has to say first, shall we? Of course, Miss Battleax. Well... Bert, do you have a view on this? Well, if I had to choose, I would say that... I would say that... I would say that it really depends on which way you look at it. I would say that it really depends on which way you look at it. Bravo, Bert! Did that make any sense? Yes, that made perfect sense! Didn't it, everyone? <sighs> oh. <clears throat> that was totes amazing, Bertie Boo. I loved it and I could listen to it all over again. See? I loved it! <clears throat> um, Miss Battleaxe? Uh, oh, dearie me, just um, uh, thinking deeply about what you said, Bert. Uh, very deeply, Bert. Thinking very deeply about it. Uh, oh. There we go. Lunch time already. Off you go now. Enjoy your meal and don't hurry back. I really wanted to hear what you had to say, Henry. Don't worry, Margaret. There's plenty of time to hear what I've got to say. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Henry. Plenty of time. No point batting your eyelids at him, Margaret. He's mine. <laughs> Hear that, Henry? <laughs> yeah, I did. Come on, you two. We've got time for another quick game if we get through lunch quickly. But it's Three Veg Thursday today. Yep, can't hurry Three Veg Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Too right. Pile of I, you know how much I love Three Veg Thursday. What? Most you? <laughs> Only joking, young Henry. Amazing! Incredible! You are a wonder. All right, Henry, stop being such a charmer and let's eat. Having fun over there, you two. Soraya was telling me about her favourite band. Oh, yeah? Who's that, then? Um, they're called T-Rex Tangerine Country, I think. And Gorinda was sharing her recipe for coconut burfi. Come on, guys. They were helping you with your homework, were they? Well, yes. <laughs> That's all right. It's cool to do your homework, right? Yeah, yeah right. right. So easy being me. I'm Dad? No, thank you. The delivery man said it was really easy to set up. Yeah, they always say that. Thank you, Henry. Well, call me if you need me. I will. He won't. He always thinks he can do it himself. Until he can't. <laughs> mm. These gobblegasters are good, aren't they, Fang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No TV noises yet. Come on, let's go and see what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Need any help now, Dad? No, thank you, Henry. I can do it. Need any help now, Dad? Oh, how difficult can it be? Pretty difficult if you're trying to do it in Chinese. Oh. This one's Japanese, and this is French, Spanish and Polish. Oh. But I don't speak any of those languages. What am I going to do? Leave it to me, Dad. Is there anything I can do? You can get the TV out of the box. Reckon I can do that. Oh, uh, thank you. Wow, that is one big TV. <laughs> it's huge! <laughs> Oops, sorry, Dad. It's a Titanic TV! Do you think your mother will notice? Well... 
I'm going to be in such trouble if she notices. No, I'm sure she won't notice. She's going to notice. Yep, she's going to notice. But it has got a hundred channels of Gross Class Zero. I know, that's why I got it. Cool. Maybe I should return it. No, I mean, why would you want to return it? Because your mother wouldn't like it? OK, but first let's get it set up and then we can decide what to do with it. All right. Found what you need, Fang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Even a hamster can do it. Why don't you go and make yourself a nice cup of tea? I'm such a failure. No, well, you're not. You're good at making cups of tea. Yes. Yes, I am. Are you sure you're OK doing that, Henry? All those cables. Maybe I should... We're fine. Off you go. Parents, eh? Who'd have them? I'll just take the box out to the recycling. Just don't tell, tell your, your mother. mother. <laughs> <laughs>